Tennessee lawmakers filed new legislation that would result in tougher punishments for people who abuse vulnerable adults. This is News Channel 11 at 530. I'm Josh Smith. And I'm Sarah Diamond. The legislation would also do more to protect those vulnerable adults from theft. Lawmakers announced three bills today in Nashville, including the Elderly and Vulnerable Adult Protection Act. That legislation would make it a felony for anyone who abuses or exploits a vulnerable or elder, elderly person. It would also require the state to place the offender's name on Tennessee's abuse registry. Another bill would also increase penalties when people with mental or physical disabilities are the victims of financial exploitation. In addition, a third piece of legislation would require more efforts by the state to promote education and awareness in an attempt to prevent theft, also known as financial exploitation. All of these proposed laws started as ideas within the state's Elder Abuse Task Force. It's a group created after a 2013 community watchdog investigation, and Nate Morabito has the update. Sarah, in July 2013, we started asking questions about the large number of abuse cases in Northeast Tennessee and learned of the lack of severe punishment in many of those cases. As a result, Senator Rusty Crow pushed legislation that increased penalties for abusers and created an elder abuse task force. Both of those passed. That group spent time in 2014, 2015, and 2016 meeting and coming up with recommendations to fight Tennessee's abuse problem. Senator Crow is among those co-sponsoring the most recent legislation. He previously told us he's received many calls from the people he represents, alerting him just how often these kinds of crimes occur. Everyone says you have no idea how this happens right under our noses. Lawmakers estimate as many as one out of every 23 elder abuse cases is never reported. They say the number of reported assault and financial exploitation cases where vulnerable adults are the victims has increased by at least 20% over the last 10 years. Well, the most recent population census from 2010 revealed 13% of the total U.S. population is at least 65 years old.